Hello, everybody. Be sure to say hello when you're popping in. Um, a late start today. Let me just get set up down here on my um, phone so that I could um, see. happened with that okay what happened there I don't know this is the kind of day I'm having today <laughs> this is not a good start to world card making day for me today this was supposed to start a lot earlier than I'm on right now but technical difficulties and last minute difficulties I'll tell you best laid plans don't always happen but um, I'm here now so um, I want to welcome you today um, if you're just coming in, be sure to say hello. If you're watching on a, a replay, be sure to type in hashtag replay. And I just want to welcome you all for uh, our World Card Making Day, which is a big day as far as us demonstrators and stampers and crafters alike. Um, yeah, well, the hair's a little funky today, huh? <laughs> Well, you won't have to look at me much longer, but, um, hello, good morning, Lisa, hello, um, yeah, this is a fun day, Stampin' Up! Is, has actually started the kickoff of World Card Making Day last night, our time, because, of course, we're all over the world, and we have a lot of things going on with demonstrators that they're posting from all over the world every hour, Facebook posts, and, um, it's just been a lot of fun. I've been watching a lot. Um, a few of them, like Japan, I didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> but um, it was fun to see that we are all over the world. But it is a fun day, and I am planning on coming in throughout the day. I'm hoping now that I'm looking to check my, yep, my Wi-Fi is, is good. Um, I forgot to plug in my, um, well, I thought I had my iPad plugged in, but apparently I did not. And it didn't charge, so um, I have it plugged in now. I'm hoping it holds out for this session until I'm able to get it fully charged. And then I went to hook up, and my booster on my Wi-Fi was not working, so then I had to go down and do that. Anyhow, um, I'm going to come out and come on throughout the day with different demonstrations. Um, I'm going to be having some card challenges and um, some some card making of course and I posted this morning on the Facebook group that um, I have a goal of meeting uh, 50 cards made today so between myself and you I think we can do that don't you I think we could do that I think 50 is good Stampin' Up! is having a 50,000 um, card making they're going to be announcing more information on that so you're contribute contributing to my small little 50 is going to contribute toward the 50,000 and they're going to be making an announcement next week as far as the details on that. So um, they actually are doing a one-on-one -on -one swap where us as demonstrators can sign up to send out cards, which is it's really fun. I got um, signed up with actually someone to send to me from Texas and me to send to Texas, two different people. But it, I could have been signed up with someone, you know, in Japan. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So I also have another promotion going on. Well, not a promotion, just something fun where you can win a $20 shopping spree. All the details are listed here on the Facebook page. To make five cards, take a photo of the five cards, and every five cards that you make and post, you will be entered to win a $20 uh, shopping spree. Let me just grab a sip here. I put my... Um, coffee in one of these because the desk is gets total chaos when you're creating. I know you can all relate. So I'm going to flip you down and um, we'll start off with a fun card, kind of a blast from the past. Uh, maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't. Um, so looking forward to it. Oh, thanks, Lisa. I'm glad you're here to join me. And I know it's it's a busy day on a Saturday for most people, so they may be joining us later on the replay, which is great. So let me flip you down, and let's get us situated for that. Let me see how things look. Let me know how things look on your end, if I need to adjust anything. All right, let me see on my end here. 
what I'm seeing. It looks like I'm upside down, so um, let's try to remedy that. Um, nope, not that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love Facebook. That you got to see the stand that holds. All right, where are we at here? Um, 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 let me try this. Hold on, we'll get this. We will get this sooner or later. And try this. Okay, either way, we're going to be backwards or something or another, I'm seeing. There's quite a delay in what, um, oh, there we go. I think we got it. Now all I got to do is remember that for next time, right? So I have some little pumpkins here. We're celebrating because we're doing a fun Halloween card. Look at this fun card. This is definitely a blast from the past. Now, if you make a comment, I may not be um, seeing your comment, but I will go back in and uh, review the comments and, um, I'll flip my phone, so hopefully I'll see it there. But who all remembers this fun card? A little mummy card. And some of these embellishments. Hello, Carol. Um, some of these embellishments you may remember. Um, but I'll go into that later. So I thought, you know, I'm not a big Halloween fan, but I thought a fun little Halloween card. Um, maybe you have a lot of scraps laying around. This is a great way to use up your scraps. So this card I did on Whisper White. So you can do the card on uh, Whisper White or Very Vanilla. Now the Very Vanilla I have. Hi, Michelle. Good morning, Travis and Preston. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Very Vanilla this time. So um, let me grab my paper trimmer. And speaking of paper trimmers, oh boy, Stampin' Up! has released a new trimmer. Now, it won't be available for customers until next year, but what a great time to join my team because we can now, as demonstrators, pre-order it. It's $25. Um, I have not ordered mine yet. I'm kind of waiting um, just because I had some other expenses and things. So um, I'm excited to see it. So here's what I'm here's how I create when I do cards. So this is eight and a half by eleven. I'm putting it at the four and a quarter mark. And of course, there are old trimmer, and I believe our new trimmer is going to have the scoring feature. So I'm going to score right here at four and a quarter. I'm going to turn it and I'm going to cut five and a half and I always cut from the bottom. Okay, let me get that out of the way. And I'm going to need one of these. I'll put that one there. So, um, everyone always asks, what are the basic tools I need to get started? So, um, this was one of the um, cushy um, inserts they had when I bought my um, Stampin' Store. So, I saved it because I utilize it for a lot of things. So, um, of course, uh, dimensionals are always a good thing to have. Um, mini glue dots are always a good thing to have. A pair of paper snips, always good. Um, some type of adhesive whether it be our um, snail adhesive or our Tombow glue. And check this out. What do you think of this? I'm going to be doing giveaways, and one of the things I'm going to be giving away is this cool stand for your um, Tombow liquid glue. Oh, I love it. Of course, I picked purple because that's my favorite. Um, okay, a bone folder, of course. Um, maybe a Stampin' Sponge or a little Dauber. And, of course, Wink of Stella. So those are my must-haves, and I did this because if you saw me the other night, I was like, where did this go? Where did that go? So I'm going to attempt that that is going to be my little keepsake box that I'm going to keep up here and hopefully put it back. Now, what is my vellum doing there? I think I'm going to have to do a card with that later. Okay, so we're going to bring our bone folder in, and... Um, just going to go along where that score line is. Of course, having one of these paper pads underneath where you're working is always great too. I keep it totally on the um, pad because it gives you a little cushion for stamping, which is great. Okay, so we have our basic card, and here's our sample. Now, what you want to do, and what did I do? Okay. I want to use that. I have a scrap here. This is a great way, again, use up scrap pieces. So what you want to do with this is you want to take your scrap fa uh, fabric, no, 
cardstock. <laughs> and um, you can use, like I said, any color. I'm just going to show you how to do this. We're going to do tearing. So I'm going to tear and, you know, have a go every which way. And, of course, there's my dog. I'll tell you, I think it's like she she knows, she hears me talking, she knows that something's going on up here, and she has to let it know, known that she is here. All right, so we have our pieces that we tore. I'm going to bring in um, some crumb cake. Okay. And now for this technique, you can use a dauber. Hello, Aurora. <laughs> And um, the pieces that are, that are squared off like this, these are great ones to use like at the top of your card because they're already cut and ready to go. But you can always trim. If you overhang, you can trim later. So you're just going to go into your dauber. Well, that's a little dark, but that's okay. And you're just going to dauber them up. Now, I know a lot of you might not have a dauber, so you say, well, I don't have a dauber. What do I do? Well, you have one of our Stampin' Sponges. I'm going to take this because I'm frugal. This usually comes in a big round. I cut it into, like, little wedges. And I've had some wedges cut up, and they kind of are gone because I believe Dory found them. <laughs> and... Uh, last night there was a lot of running around happening after midnight and I believe it was Dory that um, she found so if you just take your sponge the rounded end right into your ink pad and you can do it just as easy with this now if you don't want to get your fingers dirty take your a little binder clip and clip a little binder clip on there or you can take a um, piece of cardstock right on it that it's um, crumb cake staple it on here and then keep them in a little box or wherever you want to keep them and um, this way you'll have one designated for each single color and they're really cheap they're not a whole lot of money so you'll see how that's done right you get a different look the dauber kind of gives you a more um, darker look or the sponge gives you a lighter look so i already did these ahead of time because i know we're all busy and um, we don't have a whole lot of time sometimes. So um, let me clean this up and let me bring in the ones I've already done. So here they are. And I saved my little scraps. So um, just torn like that. Now, a few different ways you can do this with your glue. I use the Tombow glue, but this time I think I'm going to go with the snail. And um, I'm going to use a top piece. We're just going to be doing layering. This is where my little um, silicone mat comes in handy so I don't zhush up my workspace. So we're just going to go ahead and put that on there. Now, normally I would just lay them all out and then cut them, but we could just do that. So there's our first layer. So I'm just going to continue to layer them. And you can go, you know, off your paper, off your card, and just continue to layer, layer, layer. So what's everybody doing today? Does, is there any, anybody going to be making cards like I am today? Or you, you have any fun activities planned for the weekend? I pretty much don't. Um, just going to make some cards today. Do some Facebook Lives. I got the laundry going already. And um, let me know what it is you're doing. Now, if you like making cards and you don't have anyone to send cards to, I do offer a uh, monthly card swap where you'll partner up with someone in the group. And um, every month there's a theme as to, um, you know, what type of card to make. 
and it's a great way to create some fun cards and to send cards and instead of just getting you know junk in the mail it's a good way to, to um, get something fun in the mail when you come home instead of all those bills I don't know I think those companies love sending bills although a lot of mine now don't even come in the mail anymore they just kinda get emailed to me which is okay I guess it saves them right all right, so let's go ahead um, before we go any further. So you can see he's looking very mummy-like, right? Um, we'll go ahead. We'll get our punches. We're going to do our little eyes. So the eyes are made with three-quarter inch punch and a, a one-half inch punch. And where did I put that? There's a stamp set we're using. So we're going to need two of the half inch, and I don't know what is going on down the road here, but there's they're working on something, and I keep hearing this beeping, you know, like something's backing up. So that's going to be a little annoying all day, don't you think? And now we're going to need two of the three quarter inch. I don't know if you could hear it or not, but I certainly can. All right, so let's bring these in. All right, we're going to use our uh, snail adhesive. We're just going to make ourselves two little eyeballs. This is fun. This is a fun card. Okay, now you can decide how you want to put your eyeballs, if you want them to be wonky or, you know, however. But, um, you know, you can do them like goofy-like or, you know, he's a mummy, so he don't care, right? So let's see, let's, okay, that'll be good. I'm going to do this. Like he's peeking out from behind his wrapping. I saw a fun idea the other day, and this is what made me think of this card, was they took a candle. This is non-stamping related. They took, um, like, one of those candles from, like, Dollar Tree. And that one I use on the bottom, so let me do that. And what he did was he took gauze, like it was all from Dollar Tree stuff, and he the gauze he soaked in, I think he, I believe he used shoe polish, but he was over in, I believe the UK, and he cut the gauze, you know, the gauze roll comes like that, he cut it in half, put it in a baggie, put some shoe polish in there, liquid shoe polish, I guess they have liquid shoe polish, I don't know. And um, he pulled it out and he wrapped it all around the candle and stuck little googly eyes. Oh, you can't hear the beeping? Well, that's good. I'm glad. And um, he made the candle look like a little mummy. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. So all you Dollar Tree fans, and I know my daughter's one of them, there's an idea for you. I thought it was super cute. Okay. So look at our mummy's coming coming along, isn't he? Now the eyes I only put down like with a little bit because I want to be able to, I think I'm going to have to tear this piece. I want to be able to kind of cover them along with, um, cover them with the uh, cardstock too. Thought I had enough pieces here, but... Okay. Yeah, it was a cute idea with the candle. Da, 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 da. Alrighty. Okay. Sorry about that. But it's fun. It's a, it's so many fun things you can do. I have another fun thing that um, I'm going to be doing, and I'm be making um, a December journal using old, well, the old, um, I remember them, my kids were little, the golden books, the little golden books. I saw an idea with that, and I thought, oh, that could be so fun with making a, um, a little eyeball fill, making a little journal out of that, and I'll be sharing that, of course. All right. Sometimes this is a little play work 
because you know you're trying to align all these up but no worries all right let's see here's another small piece Now, another idea, I just thought of this, because this background, you can just go ahead in there with your dauber if you're worried that some of it may show, and do that. That'll cover that up. Let me take my little Google eyes. Tuck them in there. We'll put them up here. But there's just so many ideas out there, so many things that you can do. He's going to be peering in from way up there. All right, that works. I really wanted a longer one. Let's see a longer one that's going to reach. All right, we'll just tear this end too. This is a great thing for kids to do too because you know, they love tearing paper. All right, we'll just do that. Okay. There we go. Let me trim anything that's hanging over. Open this up. You can take your um, paper trimmer also and just, you know, run it down there. There's a little bit that's showing up there. Cover that up. Okay, we're good with that. Now the inside, I think we're good with all those scraps. <laughs> Finally. The inside, we're going to kind of make it a little spooky. What did I do with my ink? I'll bring my ink back in again. I think I used the other sponge. Oh! Did I tell you I'm just having one of those days? Oh my goodness, I'll fix that later. Has that ever happened to anybody? I'm going to show you how to fix that. But, um... <laughs> oh! I'm telling you, it's just going to be one of those days. Can't wait to see the project with the gold book. I know that's, yeah, it's it's, it's going to be fun. I found some um, ones on uh, eBay, so and they were really cheap. Okay, so there's that. So we spooked up the inside, and I need my Memento ink. So let me show you how to fix this. This is the old style pads, and for some reason this happens to this one all the time. So, all right. So we have these little nubbies, right? There's little nubs. And if you look on your, um, on your bottom piece, there's a little track there. So I think I have this on going. Yeah, that's right. The front of the ink pad is the one with the little ledge. Now, again, this is not the new pads. I've never had this happen with the new pads. And you just kind of Push that in there. Come on. It didn't say it was easy. It's easy for it to pop off, and I don't know why this one does. I'm going to have to order a new pad. Um, and I'm getting ink all over me because I just re-inked this one. Anyhow, it takes a little bit of practice, but those little nubbies go in there. I don't want to waste your time showing you that, but anyhow, it does go back in. Let me just wipe my fingers off. All right. Okay. So um, I'm going to incorporate some of my old paper pumpkin kits. Here's what I do with mine. All the little pieces that are left over. I covered um, a piece of the chipboard that came with the paper pumpkin, and I got all these little baggies. And usually in your paper pumpkin kit, you have little baggies. And I put in here from all the previous kits, all the little doodad things left over. So this way, I don't have to keep all the paper pumpkin boxes. I can just go ahead and, you know, put them in here and they're ready to go. So this was from a past paper pumpkin kit. Who remembers this with the little ghosts and the bats? I think this might have been from last year. I think. Oh, one of the little bats. There's also little ghosts and there's little pumpkins. Remember those? That's cute too. Let's use that somewhere. Oh, I think this came on the, this went, this go on the back of the pumpkins where it kind of did that. Let's 
So let me close that up. <clears throat> we can incorporate that little pumpkin too. And this is one of the, well, two of the old paper pumpkin kits. Um, the stamp sets from past Halloween ones. So um, I thought I would just use this Happy Halloween from an old kit. Because we forget about our paper pumpkin um, kits. We're so focused on new stuff that comes out. We're always forgetting about that. Okay. There we go. All right. So Memento Ink. Ink that up. The Happy Halloween. And this stamp is made so that it's not solid image. So it's kind of made like that spooky kind of look. So there we go with that. And my, ooh, my nose is itchy, which that is not a good thing either. All right. Then um, we'll take with this little bat. And I have a gel pen. Now, we don't sell gel pens anymore, but I, again, I'm an Amazon shopper. I got this on Amazon. So I'm going to take my little bat and I'm going to give them two little eyes. I'm going to do a little bit of stitching around him. Just to give him a little definition. Sometimes little things that you do on your cards... Um, makes them stand out. You know, you might not have a whole lot of supplies, but you can do little things and uh, it gives them a little boom. All right, so I'm going to use my snail and I'm going to put my little, oh, and it's smeared a little bit. Be sure to let it dry. That's okay. It adds to the spookiness. I'm going to think I'm going to remedy that with, um, Bring in Wink of Stella. We'll see what she can do to add to the party. There we go. She may just cover all that up. You might have to go back over that again. All right, let's give our little pumpkin some zhuzh too. Okay. I will not close that until it dries. So let's go back into our little um, paper pumpkin doodles. And these were from a past kit. There's our spooky. So I believe these were on a whole sheet. Glitter does cover all mistakes, but there are no mistakes in stamping. They're just ways of embellishment. That's how I look at it. So we're going to peel off one of these stickers, and um, if you have an area where you want to cover up, that's a good place to stick your spooky. Spooky. You know, I think it might be fun to add a couple of these. Spooky, and I think there was a couple of different ones. Let's see what else we have. And here's a, this you can use as a template. If you peel this off, remove the stickiness from it. My fingers aren't working today. It's cooler, cooler weather, and already I can start feeling the arthritis flaring up. Anyhow, there we go. Wait. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Oh, dear. Anyhow, you'll peel that up, you know what I mean, and, and use your embossing buddy on the back of this, and you can use this as a template. So I won't do that because I'll be here all day. Okay, so eek. Let's do a little eek. Peel that up. Spooky and eek. Do we have any other words? I think I saw something in here. Was that a silver eek? Or a boo? Oh, there's a silver boo. Okay. That works. Here's a little boo. Oh, come on. All the little innards. <laughs> But all these little pieces, I mean, because when you get Paper Pumpkin, if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, you really should be. They give you more than enough supplies that you can create with and have left over. And this is a good way to use them up. I'm having a heck of a time today. <laughs> not a good way to kick off my world card making day, but... Only has to get better. So, okay, there we go. Boo. 
I do a little boo. Oh, we still have that center. Oh, good gosh. Okay. Okay, there we go. And a little boo. A little boo for you. <laughs> now, did I forget anything? No. Okay. So, there's our card. And there's our little bit of glitter there. I'm not sure if that's showing up on the bat. And our pumpkin. And our little boo. And I, I don't know. I think I like it with the multiple words on it. What do you guys think? Which one do you like better? The spooky or the boo spooky eek? Let me know. Let me clean this up. Um, I want to offer you a card challenge. So a lot of times that's our hardest thing. <clears throat> is coming up with ways to outline ways to lay out your cards. Let me tuck all that away. So something fun is to look at different ways that um, other people lay out their cards and go with that basic plan and um, make a lot of cards an easy way because you, sometimes you don't know where should I put this, where should I put that. You like both cards, Lisa? Lots of words. It's cute. Okay, well, it's looking like, you know, either one will go, right? But um, here's what I'm planning on doing. I have this little case and all the cards that I create, I'm going to put in here. And we'll see by the end of today how many cards I've completed. And, um, yeah, who knows? Okay, so card challenge. I have multiple card challenges, and I'm going to be doing these throughout the week. And I hope you take an opportunity to um, join in because it's a lot of fun. So card challenge number one is this basic layout. And let me remove this and flip it over because that's a little distracting. Okay, there we go. So basic card <clears throat> challenge number one is this card. Now this is, I'm doing them all in like grays, blacks, and whites just to showcase the way that you can lay out your card. So this is your basic card front, which is the whisper white. And you know, of course yours will be whatever you want to do. And this first layer is a quarter inch off of your basic card, which is four by five and a quarter. Then a scrap piece I cut diagonal to put underneath here, a little piece going across here, and some sort of design layered here. Now, it doesn't have to be circles. It doesn't have to be, you know, this couldn't be a piece of ribbon. I mean, lay them out. It could be a piece of designer series paper, however you want. But this is your card challenge number one. If you wish to participate, I'd love to see what you come up with. So um, I posted these the other night. Here's an example, two examples. They're actually the same card, just um, different colors laid out, of using the card challenge and a way that I created this card. Now, you can choose to stamp on your background. Your background can be designer series paper. It can be anything you want it to be, just your basic layout and how fun are those cards. And, I mean, it didn't take a whole lot of time. Quick, simple stamping. Um... Actually, the Merry Christmas is the only thing stamped on this card unless you wanted to do, you know, an inside. And, um, yeah. So, anyhow, um, what time do we have here? Okay, well, we're good. We're right on schedule. So, um, I want to thank you for joining me. Like I said, I am going to be in and out throughout the day. I don't really have a set schedule. It's just going to be, you know, in between doing other things. And um, I hope you take advantage of the card challenge and participate and post the pictures. Let me know what you come up with. And I'd love to see your designs. So thanks so much, everyone, for joining me. Be sure to um, like, comment, and if you have anyone that you think would enjoy this, you know, you can tag them to this, this um, post. And um, I think that's about it. So enjoy your creative time and I'll see you back here in a little bit with another fun share and I have something really fun coming up and it involves a laminator 
So you'll definitely want to check that one out because it's going to use some household items too. So, all right, everyone. Thanks for popping in. Um, happy creating, and I'll see you back here real soon. Bye-bye.